Today, I'm gonna talk about Spotify, all right? Spotify, Apple, Beats, all these different streaming platforms really are how you're getting your music heard, right? And YouTube and everything else, but let's talk about Spotify, okay? Spotify pays the lion's share of the, the streaming income to the master owners. Not the writers and publishers, they get a smaller share. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think 80% of the payment coming in from streaming revenue on Spotify is paid to the master owner, the other 20% to the writers and publishers. If you want to know how that writer-publisher thing splits out, watch some of my other videos because I talk about it and explain it there. Spotify playlists. Here's something you probably didn't know. Independent musicians distributing on Spotify playlists through TuneCore, Repost Network, these kind of companies, they get a lower rate than major record labels because the major record labels came in and negotiated a more favorable rate. And something else you probably didn't know is they own a lot of the real estate and control their own advertising on Spotify. So for instance, Filter, Digster, Topsify, they are all owned by major labels. Filter's owned by Sony, Digster by Universal Music Group, Topsify by Warner Music Group. So when you're watching those playlists for the great new artists that's coming out, they're signed to the label. They're probably great, you know, it's all good, but independent musicians are getting paid a lot less than those people because major labels are now heavily involved in Spotify and the other streaming platforms. There. 